The student leader at the Meru University of Science and Technology was allegedly shot by a police officer during students' demonstrations yesterday. IPOA has dispatched its rapid response unit to investigate the incident which occurred in Tigania West constituency. IPOA is appealing to eyewitnesses to contact the authority through complaints at ipoa.go.ke. In Migori County, two people have been killed and one rescued by police officers in Osweta village over claims of witchcraft. The suspects are alleged to have murdered a three-year-old boy who had been left with a co-wife to their mother. It is believed the crime was perpetrated to strengthen a five-month-old marriage. Still on crime in Kiambu County, bodies of two middle-aged persons were found dumped at a Napier grass plantation in Gudunguri. Gudunguri Deputy OCPD Patrick Kafu confirmed the incident. He says three border border riders had been reported missing, after which two bodies were discovered. We a report kutoka kwa chifu, kwamba kuna mili, miwili ya vijana mbo alikuwa meonekana karibu na kanisa ya St. Joseph's. Lipeleka pale wananchi wakawatambua kwamba ni wavijana wa mtaa huu na walikuwa wametoka makwao jana saa moja jioni wakielekea kazini lakini walikosa kurudi ndio mwenye shambo wakati wa saa tano hivi alipokuwa akikata nyasi akapata mili ile na ndio maana alimjulisha chifu na tukapata habari tukaenda pale na uchunguzi unaendelea Elsewhere, children living with disability in Homa Bay and Kisumu counties have benefited from a free medical camp courtesy of a local non-governmental organization. The over 62 children received specialized orthopedic care for spine deformities, club foot and cerebral palsy. We are also uh, thanking Lotto for coming in very handy, working very closely with Kiwa, who are also working with APDK and Jaramogyo Gingo Dinga Teaching and Re Referral Hospital to ensure that uh, services reach these deserved people as required. And in Muranga County, locals are calling on their leaders to ensure that they connect clean drinking water for residents as acute water shortage continues to hit towns in Muranga. Women in the county have come together to buy water tanks for their domestic use. <laughs> yana yanajaa maji yengine yanamwagika tukaona abazali tugenunua tugenunua tugefanya mchago tununue matagi kubwa kidogo tuweke maji mvua ikinyesa Meanwhile, in Nakuru County, unknown people descended on a piece of land near Lake Naivasha and cut down over 200 indigenous trees. The incident comes a day after the government banned all logging activities across the country in a bid to save water towers Ningependa kumuomba pia makamu wa rais. Angalie ofisi ya DC, ofisi ya administration na ivasha. Lazima itueleze ukweli wa mambo. Nini hii inaendelea? Nani hawa? And finally, locals in Busia are appealing to the government to review the laws pertaining to customs as they have been rendered jobless by the one-stop border post. The initiative was launched by President Uru Kenyatta last week. And now locals claim Ugandans are the main beneficiaries since parking is done in their country. Wakatile siwe nye tulikuwa na launch entry yetu, tunanikia ushuru peke yetu, tukifanya kazi gari kiwa parking in Kenya, ato fanyibiashara winyaka hapa wanafaidika, unamoteli, wanalala, wanakula. Lakini saizi, wanakula nyama, tunafanya nini? Unameza, tumetupu wa inje.